Hello! This video will cover the basics of navigating to the CMU library's listing of databases, how to find ProQuest, and how to use some advanced filtering techniques. Let's begin on the CMU library's homepage. If we scroll down slightly, there is a red Quick Links banner. We want to click the first option on the left, Databases, E-Resources, and Tools. This will load a new web page which lists many of the electronic resources that we offer for remote access. Each database has a short description which details what that resource offers. At the top of this web page, we can find a variety of drop down menus to help with searching and navigating the variety of databases. In this case, we're interested in using ProQuest. Since we know the name of the tool we're interested in, we can search it using the search box option. Now we get a list of results related to our search term. There are several choices which have ProQuest in the name. Some of them have more specific purposes or narrower subject areas that they search. Let's choose the first choice. This is the most broad and interdisciplinary ProQuest database. It's going to search for the most content. Here, we can begin our search. Although we have a lot of filter options already available here, let's start broad with our example. Perhaps we're interested in meal planning and how it relates to potential software applications or uses. Let's input those terms and click search. This search query provides approximately 260,000 results. That's a lot of content. How can we get more relevant information? Over here on the left-hand side, there are a variety of filters we can use. Let's think of some criteria for what kinds of results are most important to us. For this search, maybe we want to find recently published scholarly literature. First, let's enable peer reviewed. This will narrow our results to materials that have been written by scholarly experts for a scholarly audience. Also, these materials have been reviewed and approved by panels of fellow experts prior to their publication. Turning this on, it dramatically reduces the amount of options. We now have 15,000 results. Next, let's enable full text. This narrows our results to materials that we can access and read right now. It slightly reduces the amount of search results. We're most interested in articles published in scholarly journals. Let's choose that under source type. Yet again, we see our listing of results getting slightly smaller. And finally, we're most interested in recent literature. That's been published within the past year. Let's choose items that were published within the last 12 months. All of these filters combined offer a dramatic difference from our original search. Now we have almost 600 results. Examining one of these results further, we can read and download the article. Let's change our approach for the next search. We're still interested in this same topic, but want to find popular literature, maybe magazine or newspaper articles. At the top, we have a Modify Search button. Clicking this will bring us back to the landing page. Let's redo our initial search. This time, we'll apply a different set of filters, which will reflect our new interest. We still want full text content. This way we can read it right now. We won't enable peer reviewed content for this search because most magazines and trade journals do not have a peer review process in order to publish articles. We are still interested in content published within the last year. So let's select 
last 12 months again. Now, let's look at the source type. By clicking More, we get a listing of what we can include or exclude from this search. We want to include results from newspapers and magazines. A lot of people also get information from blogs, podcasts, and other websites, so it might be interesting to include those potential results as well. Applying these filters, we now have approximately 500 results. At any time in this process, we're able to click into results that seem interesting in order to read and learn more. In this example, we can see the shortened abstract at the top, we have immediate access to the full text, and we could also download a PDF. Looking at this article, we can see how this result differs from the scholarly article that we looked at in our previous search. Something like this is written for a much wider audience. These sorts of search and filtering processes can be applied on many of the other database platforms that are available through CMU libraries.